What's up everybody? I am back again with another video and today we'll be going on a different reaction. Let me read the title for y'all for a sec. Hold on a sec. Cashier scams her job out of eight thousand dollars using customers receipts. Yo, this is kind of big. I never seen this before. So I'm gonna react to this for the for today for y'all. So y'all know to do like, comment, subscribe. Turn on another notification and, and, and make sure you don't miss another video. And let's get into it. Here, what's going to go? What, what was going on happening? Uh, at this time, I am going to place you into custody. Okay. I just got to run you up to county jail up there. You'll probably get released on a bond or something. I'm not really sure. You just might put your hands behind your back for me. Okay. I'm going to put these on nice and comfortably as possible okay i'm sure we've all made a purchase at a store at some point in our lives and been asked by the clerk do you want your receipt if we had no intention of returning the item we likely declined but what if i told you that a clerk used this method to attempt to defraud customers and make thousands of dollars a day here's how it worked a new cashier working at home goods would often ask customers if they would like their receipt most often some people would decline the cashier would then take the receipt, make a fraudulent return, and take the money right out of the register, making anywhere between $500 to $700 a day. Wow, that was crazy. I would never do that. This is where I work at. How you doing? All right. All right, okay, let's make sure they lose this. When officers arrived, they would meet with the manager who would explain exactly how the scam worked and how the employee didn't even attempt to conceal her fraudulent activity. Attention? Yes. Okay. Uh, this is all recorded, just to give you a heads up. Do you have, uh, okay, so start from the beginning. Just uh, kind of a... Personalized. All right, so. I'll your ID then too. Oh, that's, that's in my office. I'll run and grab it. Okay, that's fine. Yep, no worries. what she was doing, the main thing she was doing is doing um, fraudulent refunds for cash. She would also do fraudulent refunds for, um, onto a gift card um, or merchandise credit. It's pretty kind of the same thing. It's a card that we yeah, sure. use. Um, she would either keep a customer's receipt, uh, um, reprint the customer's receipt after they made a purchase and like would, keep a copy of receipt yeah yeah or and then she would scan it and, and do like a fraudulent return yep with no merchandise obviously and, and pop either pocket the cash or pocket the svc card or gift card yes. so these are the 12 transactions here this is also kind of a a recap of our investigation. So it has a total case value with the twelve, the twelve uh, gotcha. transactions. These items here is for the merchandise that she stole, and then the rest is um, just duplicate information for the refunds. Okay. The ones that are not hi highlighted are the original purchase where she used the customer's receipt to do the fraud refund. Gotcha. So only the four refunds are highlighted for you. Okay. Okay. Awesome. <coughs> and when did this start? When was the first transaction? Where? Yeah. 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 Notice her? Oh, 
So, I was saying, so what, what tipped you off to it? 24th. So I had a feeling about her. Um, I decided to do um, uh, a video re review of one of her shifts, and I noticed she didn't pay for the soda. That's how it pretty much started. And then she, um, and then I saw in um, the break room the bag of chips that was tied in a bag that was not paid for, yep. a customer paid for it, and she did a return without receipt on that bag of chips, and that's how it all started. So you've been watching her, or you go back and review? So, so, um, when I first initiated it, I had to obviously go back and review that video, gotcha. um, and then... Once I was like, all right, now I want to do live surveillances. I think my, I want to say my first live surveillance was the 24th, was my first live surveillance watching her shift. Mm -hmm. But all the other ones were video review. All in front of me. Yes. So my first live surveillance. Everything prior to that was, was video, video review. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Gotcha. Okay. These were bookmarked on there. You'll see additional bookmarks for, because we also bookmark like the original purchase where the customer made a purchase and either left their receipt or she reprinted the receipt um, yeah. or something like that. Once the officers collected all the information about the scam, it was time to confront the employee. She thought she was coming in to work her shift, but little did she know she would end up in handcuffs. Hey. Hi. Is my call for us? Is this what? what? Is, there, is there like a loss prevention office? Loss prevention? Okay. Next to the rear? Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh, hey. Sorry. I don't know if you want me to. She's, she has been cooperative. Um, I'll tell you just briefly, uh, my investigator is in there. She's the one who's on the case and gotcha. investigated it. Um, she's been working here for two months. Uh, she's a front end supervisor. Um, and over the past two months, she's done, I want to say, 12 fraudulent refunds. Most were for cash. One was to a debit visa for 700 plus that she claimed was. Not her debit visa, but a friend gave it to her. Um, and some were to gift cards, store gift cards. Some of the gift cards she used, all of the cash she took. Um, she's also admitted to stealing merchandise from the store for like forty-eight dollars that she didn't pay for. Okay. Um, so. Deep. Okay. How are you doing today? My name is Officer Lowry. I'm the investigating officer. Okay. Um, I got a brief idea of what's been happening, what's been going on. Um, I'm willing to give you the opportunity to kind of speak and tell me your side of the story if you want. Now, because I am conducting a criminal investigation, which I suspect you of a crime, I have to read your rights before I do that. But do you want to talk to us at all? or? Okay. Okay. Um, so I got a little brief overview of what's going to go what what was going on happening uh at this time i am going to place you into custody okay, okay. Mm -hmm. uh just appreciate you cooperate yeah. with us everything will be fine okay. what's going to happen is i'm going to take it back to the police you department do some paperwork mm -hmm. i just got to run you up to I county jail up there you'll probably get released on a bond or something i'm not really sure it's not a crime like violent crime or anything like that so i don't think you have to wait and see the judge all right mm -hmm. uh do you mind just standing up for me any uh you, you can take the red, the, yeah. You don't have any weapons or anything like that, no no keys, no pocket knives or nothing, just used it to open up like merchandise or something. Okay. Um, she would have liked to give her car keys to someone who's waiting out front. That's fine. Yeah, if you want to just empty those out on your, on the, just empty your pockets out here for me and whatever you want to leave. You got a friend out here or something or? I just want to say this when we can take this. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. What will happen is I'll put that in your property, but uh, you just might put your hands behind your back for me, okay? I'm going to put these on nice and comfortably as possible, okay? Any of your personal property in there we want to take out, okay? 
Okay, we'll get we'll give it to him. Okay, well yeah, we'll go through all that for you. Okay. Mm -hmm. What I'm gonna do is you just put your hands together like you're uh, kind of like you're clapping, sort of. There we go, like that. Perfect. That's as most comfortable as we can make these. Okay. What's gonna happen is I'm just gonna walk you out to my vehicle. Okay. This officer's gonna stand by with you for a second. I'm just gonna collect a statement. We'll uh, get the AC for your comfort, seatbelt for your safety, and put some music of your choice for your listening pleasure. Okay. Um, she's just going to pat you down and make sure you don't have anything on you, okay? This is all going back to them, correct? Is this yours? That's, this that's is the store's. Okay, and that's your phone? Yes, that's right. Okay. Have you been arrested before? Not that it affects anything with this case, just so there's no surprises on it. Okay. She's good. Okay. Here, I'm going to put this back in your pocket paper. You want your phone with you, but the bag with your friend? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, okay, see. Okay. Put it in the car. And I'll, I'll be right back, okay? Thank you. All right. So, I'm going to put this back in the All right, we're just going to go straight through this. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. Let me try that. I got to turn around and see if we can walk this way. This is the friend here? Okay. And you give consent um, to give your friend any and all the property that's in that bag? Okay. Does she have... Do you have your ID in that bag by chance? Or is that, can we get her ID out of there? That's one thing we might want to take with us. You don't have like a debit card or something you might need? or. The wallet. It's in everything in the wallet. I'm just going to make sure he doesn't pull out of And the, the wallet on the keys. The wallet is on the keys. Right here? Yeah. Your ID's in there? Give it to him here, get it. Okay. Do I need my ID? Yeah, you want to keep that with you. I have to see it, but it's it's good to keep it with you, so. It'll go with you. Yeah. That way you get out if you need it for any reason. It's not, uh, that's something else we have to hunt. Kill 3598. Oh, excuse us. Pardon us coming through. We'll go out here to the right. I do apologize. My truck still smells like lunch. Pollo Tropical. Gonna go to the second vehicle. Yeah, if you just have a seat, I'll put the window down a little bit. If she's okay with it, are you okay with him talking? Oh, there he is. There he is. Just have a seat. I'll put the window down. Mary, come in. Is it possible that I can just get a court date or I have to go to the county? I think you have to go to the county. How does that work? As okay. far as what? When you have to go to the county. So from here, he's going to be driving you to the police department. He just has to do our police department, the Delray Beach Police Department. He's just going to have to do um, some paperwork, type up some paperwork, get you processed, and then he takes you up to county jail. And like he said, I don't know if you have to see a judge or if they're just going to give you a bond and let you bond out. That's kind of a question for the deputies up there. So once he drops you off, the deputies at PBSO take over and they process you up there. So once you get up there, ask them if, you know, what the deal is, when you're going to be able to get out and that sort of thing. Okay? That's a question they would probably know.
more than we would, unfortunately. So, all right. The suspect was charged with grand theft and was sentenced to a year of probation. This was her third time being arrested for theft. My guess is she's not that good at stealing if she keeps getting caught, but who am I to say? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time. Oh, that's crazy. Yo, that woman, look, I'm gonna let y'all know this. That woman was so lucky that she got one year on probation and she got another third, and she just got a third time she's been arrested for stealing. Like, who steals over $8,000? Like, what the, what the, what the products? And then what the gift cards and all that stuff like for like for the last two months she been stealing over eight hundred over like eight thousand dollars that like that's crazy you see this is the reason why that people are not that slick and also and also i'm gonna give you a second why people don't know how to keep a job that's the reason see this is the reason why people go to jail for stealing and people going like going to jail for for some dumb ass shit people do in life. And I'm gonna let y'all know this: people don't know what the fuck they doing. Life is too short for all this shit. So, anyway, I want to thank y'all guys for watching this video. So y'all know to do: like, comment, subscribe, turn on the notifications, and make sure you don't miss another video. And I will see y'all guys in the next time video. Peace.